All right, guys, we're back now, and we're going to start with part one, which is going to be the frame assembly itself. Now, some of the things that I didn't mention at the beginning is you're going to have some screws here. These are going to be 20 millimeter M2 screws. And you're actually going to use these when you mount your flight controller into the frame. We're going to set these aside. You're also going to have four uh, one millimeter rubber standoffs here. These are going to be to space to extend the gap between the flight controller and the, and the video transmitter. And again, we'll show you that when we get to that module. You can set those aside. And then finally, these are going to be the fasteners that will go on top to hold everything together when we're done assembling. And we're going to set these aside as well. So really all we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be working with the frame itself. So let's go ahead and make some room here. All right, and we'll set, separate everything here. Um, you will have some... You're going to have these vinyl, uh, like a plastic, an ABS plastic vinyl uh, set here. And these are, these are what have, would have been used if you were going to use a larger flight controller. So these are most likely not going to be used at all. So you can just take these and put them back in the bag. If you have taken them out, just put them back in one of your bags uh, because you're most likely not going to be using these on this build. But it's good to save them and start building up some parts in case you decide you want to expand this drone or use a different flight controller. Down put them back in the bag and put them aside. The next thing we're going to look at is the screws that come with this. So you're going to have a set of screws here and we're going to go through all of them to make sure we have all our sizes mounted properly. Uh, so we've got one, two, three, four here, and these should all be about the same size for this build. So you are going to have four, eight, 12, 16 total. So you can separate those in groups. And the way these are going to work is you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the bottom, and then another eight on the top to hold them together and we're going to we're going to assemble this right now so i can show you what that looks like so first get your uh, screwdriver here and let's go ahead and get the first screw and we're going to start with the front of the frame and the way you can tell this frame is the front is you have these slots here and these slots are where the camera mounting uh, brackets go so this is the front and this big open area in the back this is going to be the back of the frame so with the uh, frame uh, front of it we're going to go ahead and put the screw in here just like that and you can just finger tighten these down for now. Again, we're just trying to get an idea of what this looks like. All right, so here we go. So that's gonna be the first four. And now we're gonna to go to the back four right here. Just like that. Okay, and then we've got two more. All right, so if you were to lay this back down, you can see right now you've got all eight standoffs in line here, and you've got all eight screws down below, all right? The next thing we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and get the um, side plates ready. So we're gonna put the side plate, we're gonna put the first one in right here and the second one in just like that, okay? And then we're gonna take our top plate and these are all gonna snap right in place just like this. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and put this together. So now we can put in the next eight screws and again, we're going to take all this apart when it's time to build it, but uh, when it's time to put the components in. But I just want you to get an idea of what this frame should look like. So we'll start by doing cross corner screws here just to get everything lined up. So we'll put the back one here and we'll put the front right one in over here. like that and we're not going to tighten them down too much since we are going to be taking this apart again but let's just go ahead now and finish the rest of the screws so you can get an idea of what this is going to look like for you all right And that should be it. And what we'll do next, and get a good look at this, and make sure everything looks right. 
Okay, so this is what it should look like. This should be your completed frame. And you can see now once it's put together, it's very strong and sturdy. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our LiPo. This is gonna be our battery uh, pad right here. And basically this is gonna, this is basically called an anti-slip battery pad. So you put this on and it prevents the battery from shifting. It keeps it to, to stick a little bit better here. And so what you're gonna do is just press it there between the screws just like that. And you could just kind of press it in there. You could cut it if you wanted to get to fit a little bit better. You can cut it short, but that's what it looks like right there. And then we're going to flip this over and we will take our uh, first piece here. And what we're going to do is it doesn't matter how you angle these, but what we want to do is we want to just get them as close to the front as possible and as close to the back as possible. So we'll go one like this and the next one will go like this here. Now, these are gonna stick out just a little bit from the side because these would normally go on this pad here that's gonna go on the bottom if you manage a battery, but this is gonna be a top flying drone for this particular build. And so we're just gonna put those pads on the bottom so that they stick pretty well and protect the bottom of the frame. And that is all there is to it as far as getting your Martian 2140 built. This is all the steps you're gonna do when we start uh, putting it back together. And I will see you next for the next step on putting your flight controller in. See you guys in just a minute.